In this episode, we are going to learn about the so-called common state changes. So at the end of this episode, we are going to create this scene. So in this scene, uh, I have a rotating uh, red teapot and these are just library models. So they are already installed uh, with Panda. So this teapot uh, rotates around two axes. Then we have this panda, which rotates around its uh, z-axis. And we have these two spheres. One sphere is this uh, smiley face. And this smiley face always looks uh, towards this orbiting green sphere. So, okay, so let's get started. So first, just search for Panda 3D Common State Changes and then open up the first link, which is a documentation. And we already used a state change, which was the set position. And uh, in an earlier video, we also used the set scale. So the state changes are set position, set HPR, set scale, and these uh, so transformations, not just transformations, but mainly transformations. It uh, here also says that two of the most common changes are position and orientation. So you have the set position where you give the X, Y, Z location. And then, of course, you call these on the notepads. And you can also set the notepads that set HPR, which stands for heading pitch and roll. In other, in other engines, the heading is called Joe. So Joe, pitch and roll. And yeah, you can set the position as notepad the set position uh, and set uh, the, uh, all three axes at once, or you can set the axis uh, individually like this. Notepad that set X, only on the X. Notepad but that set Y, notepad that set Z, notepad that set the H or the heading, notepad that set the P or the pitch, notepad that set the roll, set R, and also notepad that set X, so the scale X, notepad that set uh, SY or the scale Y, and notepad that set SZ. And you can also set everything at once here, all uh, or all the same time. So notepad that set was HPR scale, so position HPR or heading pitch roll and the scale X, scale Y and scale Z. And the, uh, the first thing what I'm going to show you is I'm going to open up Blender and just uh, quickly demonstrate to you what is the HPR or the heading pitch and roll. So here in Blender, I'm just going to quickly demonstrate the three rotations or the heading, the pitch and the roll. So let's start with the heading. So the heading is the rotation around the Z axis. And remember that uh, as, as in Blender, uh, the same in Panda, the Z axis is up down. So if I set R and Z, it rotates like this around the z-axis. So this is the H or the heading. So the P is the rotation around the x-axis. So let's rotate around the x-axis. So this is the P or the pitch. And lastly, we have the uh, R, which is the roll. And the roll is a rotation around the Y axis. So let me do this, which is this rotation. So remember, HPR, H is heading or jaw, rotates around the Z axis. P is pitch, rotates around the x-axis, and R is roll, which rotates around the y-axis. 
So as I said, I'm going to use uh, library models. So if you go to your Panda installation folder, uh, go to the lib folder, site packages and Panda 3D and here you have the default library models in this folder. I'm going to load the teapot.egg, the panda.egg, the jack.egg and from the misc or the miscellaneous folder the sphere.egg. And I already prepared here uh, uh, the basic window, so we have just an empty window and in this window I'm just created a cell.x which is set to 0, a cell.speed which is set to 2, a cell.angle which is also set to 0. Here I'm created this update method and I'm added this update method to the task manager so it will be called in every frame. In the update method I'm getting the delta time and I'm also incrementing the angle by one every frame and the self that x incre I'm incrementing it uh, with the self that speed times the dt. So the first thing I'm going to load is the jack model. Okay, I'm loaded the jack model and I'm also reparented this uh, the jack to the renderer so that it is visible. So if I run now. We have, and of course I have to move the camera, so right click and move it. Uh, now the jack uh, or the smiley face is loaded, but we have to actually rotate with the middle, mu middle mouse button to actually see its face, because by default it faces uh, away from the camera. So the first state change we are going to do is actually rotate it uh, towards the camera. So I'm going to set on the on the jack model set HPR or the heading pitch and roll. And for the heading I'm going to set it to zero. For the P or the pitch I'm going to set it to 180 degrees and for now the roll I'm also going to set it to zero. So now if I run it and move the camera back now Jack is uh, facing towards the camera, although it is upside down. So we need to add one more rotation. And this rotation will be on the R or the roll. So 180 degrees. And now if I run it, now Jack is facing towards the camera and is no more upside down. And to actually, as you can see, uh, the model is created in the same position, so 0, 0, 0, where the camera is, so we always have to move back the camera to actually see the model. And there are two solutions to this problem. I'm going a little bit for, uh, in Blender. Here is the camera in the uh, center of the world. I'm going to add, let's say, I don't know, a uh, monkey head. Monkey. And this is happening in our panda scene. So we have the monkey and the camera in the same position. And we have to always move back the camera on the y-axis to actually see the, the models. And this is one way to actually do this. Uh, so set, and, and I prefer this way, so to set the camera back uh, on the y-axis. But the second way is just set the model on the y-axis. So if you move the model, you should move uh, positive on the positive y-axis. But if you want to move the camera, if you want to move the camera, you should move the camera on the negative y-axis. And I'm going to do this. So self that cam. I'm going to use the cam, not the cameras. Set position and uh, 0 on x, negative 10 on the y, and 0 on the z-axis. So now we have this situation. We move the camera back on the y-axis, and the model is still in the, in the 0, 0, 0 uh, coordinates. So now I don't have to move with my mouse the camera to, to see the model. So, okay, so let's... Uh, so this was the first, I mean, 
This is a state change. We set the we set the position on the camera. This is another state cha state change. We set the rotation on the jack model. We set the uh, pitch and also the roll. And I'm going to load the next model, which will be the panda. Okay, I loaded the Panda model, and if I run it, as you can see, this Panda model is a huge. So I'm going to apply a, a state change, which will set its scale, so and also its position. So I'm, I'm just going to shut this down. So here I'm going to set the self that Panda that set scale, set scale, and 0.2 on the x-axis, 0.2 on the y-axis and 0.2 on the z-axis. So it will be 20% uh, of its original, sign, uh, original size uh, on free axis, all free axis. And I'm also going to set its position. So I'm going to move it, let's say, two units to the, oops, not just set position, but so self.panda that set position uh, so two units on the x zero on the y and zero on the z so okay now our panda is much smaller because it was scaled down and it also moved from the center of the window so this is zero zero where where the mouse pointer is it has been moved uh, two units to the right and the origin or the center point of these models for this sphere or this for the smiley the center point is is at the center of the sphere that's why it is exactly exactly in the center of the window and the panda's origin is at his foot so that's why the panda is a little bit elevated against uh, the against this this smiley face okay i'm just going to load two more models watch one will be that uh, teapot and the second or the fourth will be the the sphere Okay, uh, I'm loaded here the teapot model. I'm set at its scale. If you give uh, only one value, like here, uh, 0 0.2, it will be uniformly distributed in uh, all three axes. So the 0 0.2 uh, scale will be applied to X, to Y, and also to the Z. So you don't have to type out uh, like here in the, in the case of this panda model. I just wanted to show you that it can be done like this way and it also can be done uh, at this way. I am set its position on negative 2 units on the X and 0, Y, 0, Z. So if I run this, uh, now this uh, teapot is in the left side. It is moved negative 2 on the X axis. And just one thing I just want to do is set its color which which is also a state change so i'm just going to call the cell the teapot that set uh, color and the set color takes four arguments the rgb and the alpha so i'm going to set it to red r red g zero blue zero and one alpha so if i run it now this uh, teapot is colored to red so, okay, off screen I added the fourth model, which is the sphere, and it is located in the in the models and the misc folder. So, here in the models folder, and if you go to the misc, uh, here is the sphere, the tag. And I'm also set at its, uh, set its scale to 20% uh, of, of, of its original size. I'm set at its color to green, and also reparented to the renderer. So, if I rotate, now you, as you can see through the eyes of this smiley face, the sphere 
is inside these smiley face and now let's do the let's do the updating of these um, state changes so I'm just going to first rotate the panda so cell that panda that set I'm just going to set the H or the heading and I'm going to set it to the cell that angle and the cell that angle is this variable or member variable which starts at zero and it is incremented in every frame by one. So if I run this, now the, our panda is rotating around the Z axis or the heading. Okay, let's do let's do with the cell the teapot. Also, we are going to set the HPR. So set HPR. And I'm going to rotate it on the on the edge, so self that angle. On the pitch, I'm don't going to rotate it, so I'm going to set it to zero, and I'm also going to rotate it on the on the roll. So now our uh, red teapot rotates on on the on the heading and also on the roll. So both axes. Okay, now let's do the uh, sphere. I'm going to make the sphere actually orbit around the the scene. So cell that sphere, and I'm going to set its position. So set position, set uh, sphere, but set position, and I'm going to. I'm going to import from mat from mat the sign and also from mat import import the sign and also the cosine function functions and when we set the position of the sphere I'm going to add the cosine of self dot, uh, dot x and I'm also going to multiply this, so scale it up by four. And I want to orbit it first on the x and y plane, or I mean the yes x y plane. So for the y, I'm going to set the sign of uh, also cell dot x, cell dot x times four, and uh, for the z, I'm going to set it to zero. So let me see it. So now, as you can see, the sphere orbits around the scene. I'm going to move back the camera and a little bit rotate it. So it orbits. And uh, just for demonstration, I'm also going to set it, its uh, Z uh, position. And I'm also, also going to set it to cosine times, uh, I mean, cosine of self.x times 2 and now it will orbit like this so when the last state change I'm going to apply is the look at so I'm going to make the, the jack model always look at the look at the self dot sphere position so self dot jack and I'm going to call the look look at and give it the self dot sphere. And now let's run it. And as you can see now, this smiley jack face is always looking towards this orbiting green uh, sphere. <laughs>